Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. I'm a little sick today, so sorry for my energy. Yeah, but I just wanted to film this video and I didn't want to break the Navratri nine day streak. So yeah, here I am today. I'm going to do a office look or a very natural, a, you know, day look, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be very simple. It's just for someone who doesn't have a lot of time like I do to get ready. So yeah. Let's get into the video. So before starting the makeup, I just want to tell two things. One is if you're a person who works in the daytime, like you go out, you travel, you do whatever, please apply your SPF. Please, please apply your SPF. And number two, if you're someone, you know, mostly offices, all the offices have AC. So if you're a corporate office or any office, almost everything has AC. So if you're someone who sits in the office, like, you know, if you sit in AC for like more than 10 hours a day, just to make sure before applying your uh, makeup moisturize your face please please thoroughly moisturize your face because ac just dehydrates your face so much and you don't want to be dry you know feeling dry the whole day so just moisturize your face a lot before applying your makeup or if you're someone who doesn't apply makeup just apply moisturizer and a ton of it before doing your makeup so next what i like to do on a day where i don't want to look you know really heavy or, or generally also this is about someone who doesn't have time so it's better you know you can use a bb cream that's a choice i'm a person who i you know likes to use a foundation so i'm going to use a foundation and i'm going to use the maybelline fit me matte plus Proless foundation so people who watch every single video of mine would be dying like can you please use any other foundation than the fit me but then it's just so good. I love the finish it gives for my skin. And it's a very medium coverage. So it looks very skin-like. So I'm taking this. Like I'm mixing uh, 310 and uh, 330. Because I don't have my exact shade. So I'm just going to do that. So I know a lot of people are very lazy in the morning. They don't have time. Or even they don't have time to you know dampen the sponge and all the things. But I always take time for that. No matter how much of a hurry I am. Because I just love the finish a sponge gives but nevertheless i'm going to show you how to do this with this uh, brush so i'm just i mixed the two foundations on my hand and i'm just taking them on the brush what i do is i just concentrate it on the problematic areas and just apply a very thin layer around the rest of my face so that gives just such a simple and skin like finish I just apply a very thin layer because I don't want to apply a lot of it because it has to not feel so heavy the whole day. One more advantage of this foundation is that no matter how much you apply, it doesn't feel very heavy. Like you can't feel that something is on your face and it doesn't give you any caked up look. You know, you can always build it up. But I just like... So you can see that just like you know laid that thin layer of foundation on my skin and everything looks much much better much much even out. So what I do next is I do have a lot of acne scars and few are really dark so they don't you know get coverage with like covered with a medium coverage foundation. So I'm just going to take my Maybelline Age Rewind Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Caramel and I'm just going to spot, spot conceal a few points. So now this is an active acne so i'm just gonna take that and tap it wherever i think i need a little coverage so that's it you can see it looks very lightweight like i can come close to the camera it looks very evened out very neat very light on the skin i'll tell you one thing like it i don't know if it makes sense but when you wear a concealer, that's when people actually understand you're wearing a lot of makeup. But you can get away with, you know, a tinted moisturizer, a medium coverage foundation. But you can get away with it. So what I like to do is since 310 is a little, little lighter to me, I just take it on my hand. I take the tiniest bit and I just go around my eyes. This just gives me some coverage as well as it doesn't look very heavy. It's just going to look like skin and nothing heavy and I'm going on my eyelids with it as well because concealers are usually really really thick but this foundation is so like you know good in consistency. So do you see what I'm saying? It looks so much like your skin and it is so lightweight and I 
love 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 the finish it gives so i'm just going to take my loose powder i'm just taking the laura mercier loose powder you can take any loose powder so i'm just going to lightly set all the parts because I don't want anything to crease so just So yeah, that's it. I just lightly, lightly set my face so that the product doesn't move. Next up, I'm just taking this uh, Sugar Cosmetics palette. This is the Contour the Face palette in Vivid Victory. And I'm just lightly, with a very, very, very light hand, go in with the bronzer. Because the bronzer is quite pigmented and I don't want so much. So very lightly. I usually don't apply anything like, you know, foundation or... Uh, anything on my forehead a lot like if I'm doing a no makeup makeup or a very simple glam since I have a lot of acne scars you can lightly lightly just see a peak of my acne scars which I don't mind it is not a lot just one two here and there but it's fine it looks very skin like it looks very natural now next I'm taking this uh, blush and just applying So yeah, finally, uh, for the face, if you want to add a highlighter, you can. Just I'm just going to lightly, very lightly add so that, you know, when the light hits, it's just looking, going to look very pleasing. So yeah, that's it for the face. Next, I'm just going to fill my eyebrows a little bit. I just fill it in the starting wherever I have, you know, a small gap or anything like that. So literally that's it. It hardly takes me 10 seconds to do my brows because I already have because I already have very thick brows. Next you can just curl your lashes. And then add a little bit and then I'm adding a little bit of uh, Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. So I'm just adding that properly. You can add, a, you know, really less if you don't want that voluminous lashes. But I like my lashes to be like really, really good and big and fluffy. So yeah, I have my mascara on. I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit because I forgot to do it. Just a tiny bit. I just anyways don't add a lot of foundation on my nose so it's fine so i'm just taking that bronzer on my eyelids if you want to you can it's a personal choice now there are just two steps left the last one like you know the second last one is i just apply a lipstick you know very soft color this is uh, the faces canada lipstick in subtle mauve very 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 beautiful color my lips are already stained with something i was using before so i'm just going to go in with Yeah, so last but not least, I'm just going to add setting spray. So sorry, this one last tip, just, you know, to make your face look brighter or your eyes to look brighter, just add a tiny bit of inner corner highlight. It just makes your eyes look so bright and you know so yeah guys that is the completed look you saw how quick and simple it is i can see the time of my footage it's literally been 16 minutes i started my video and i've been you know talking a lot i took like you know a couple of retakes because obviously i cannot talk and i have to retake a hundred things a hundred times so yeah anyways it's just been 16 minutes 18 seconds exactly that i started the video so if you're someone who's just doing it on a day-to-day -day basis like you're rushing out it'll take 10 minutes because you obviously don't have to tell anything here and there and yeah i'm anyways going to edit it into seven eight minutes probably because there's a lot of blabbering and etc so yeah it's that simple you can see my skin looks so even down it looks so lightweight obviously this is like a mountain there so you can see it but yeah there's no other discoloration you can see it looks so much like my skin so yeah that's it for today's video if you liked it make sure you like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you get notified every time i post and this is the last day last second day of navratri and i'm going to post tomorrow and after that i have a lot of content planned so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye